my entree into the film music and television music business really came as an outgrowth of my work in rock and roll. That I have a career uh, and s some visibility as a as a recording artist and you know a band leader and uh, and a, as a as a guitarist, you know, I had some visibility. So that when I did meet people, they knew a little bit about my work before. Um, you know, it, it was kind of like uh, it's it's a lateral move in a sense from work as a, a band player and a, a songwriter and recording artist to sideways over into the film world. Um, and the th work I did before is my... A business card. It's my, you know, people, oh yeah, Wayne Kramer from the MC5. So they already have a sense of the kind of music, if they're music fans, and most people in the film industry are fans of music. I mean, they listen to bands, they know the history, they, uh, so they already know a little bit about me. And, uh, and so I guess that allows me to go to the front of the line a little bit, but it also, I have to carry a suitcase with me, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is, they think of me as Wayne Kramer from the MC5. The good news is that, that you know, I've met people, uh, like I, I do a lot of music for television, and some of the people that I met in the television world never heard of the MC5. All they knew was I was a composer that someone else had recommended to them, and when they hired me to do a job that I was easy to work with, I try to position myself as the answer to their musical problem. Like, they don't know what to do, I have some ideas for you. You know, w could you do some music for this? I'm certain I can, because I know I can. And and so that, you know, they smile when they see me coming because they know I'm going to deliver this stuff within the budget and on time. And, you know, that's that's really, you know, no matter how good you play or how much schooling you have or how much training you have, the real thing is, you know, can your people skills. Can you work with people? Can can you be a partner to your partners? You know, can you deliver on time? Are you a pleasant person to have around? You know, uh, I I think in the end, you know, even even the great Bernard Herrmann was kicked out of Hollywood for being an asshole. He was he was very arrogant, and you know he ruled the film business uh, for a long time. But after a while, even Bernard Herrmann, they said. Get, you know, we're not going with you anymore. We're going with the young guys, you know, because they couldn't take him anymore. He was too cantankerous, you know. He was too, and he was smarter than them, <laughs> but they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to hear that. <laughs> Who does, you know? They're pay they're signing the check. They want someone to help them do their job, and he would he would tell the directors they're doing they're directing wrong. Well, that's not going to work, you know. That's not your job. That's not my job as a as a musician as a composer. So I think the human side is the most important side, you know, that, that you deliver on time, that, you, that you're a reasonable person, that you have an open mind to their ideas. You know, they don't want to fight with you about it. You know, who does? They're paying you. <laughs> they ain't going to fight with you. If, they, if you. if you present an argument to them, um, they'll call somebody else that's sympathetic to their way of doing things. So... So, you know, it's, it's a process, but really it has more to do with character, I think.